Good afternoon, YouTube. I'm at Englewood Metro Park or Englewood Dam, whatever you want to call it, and I'm going to do some more fall colors at Saturday afternoon around 2.15. Just an absolute gorgeous day. That's US 40. You are looking at Still got some really beautiful fall color. I got to walk across about 15 minutes to get into the trail area so I'm just gonna call this crossing the Anglewood Dam or at least right underneath it at least Anglewood Metro Park was of course established after the Miami Conservancy District back in the 19 teens 1920s built the five earth and dance for fuck control that's us 40 and state route 48 us 40 being old national road so i'm gonna walk over this going to walk down here into the park this park is broken up into into four sections the section you're looking at is considered the west park the western part of the park that's on the western side of the river I don't know if I'm gonna get any videos on that side of the park today but the eastern park is considered the big the biggest portion of the park you can see the levee right there that goes against US 40 much like Taylorsville Metro Park US 40 was diverted from its original route for the for this dam to be constructed to be constructed here and they had no choice to protect the Miami Valley and the greater Dayton area um, where I was at this past Sunday Caesars Creek that's a dam too but that was not part of the Miami Conservancy District that came along in the 1970s this part goes through the the Stillwater River goes through this park and through this area. It's in Anglewood and uh, Vandalia is very close by to the east, to the east of the park. I would say overall in general when it comes to noise this park is probably not too bad, but you have the airport that is adjacent to the park, so it's it's not going to be free of noise because of the airport. But once you get into the main part part of the park here, some of the trees are losing their leaves, but there's still plenty that have them. So. I did some videos from here before. This is not one of the regular parks I hike per se. And it's not because I dislike the park. Uh, overall the trails here are not very difficult. There's very little hill, little hills here. I prefer something that's got, you know, some more hills do it. This park was rated the third best. <coughs> Excuse me there, YouTube. This park was rated by the Dayton Hikers about two years ago as the third best park in the area for viewing fall color. The first two were number one was John Bryan, and number two was John Bryan State Park. I'm on the bike path here. The bike path goes directly into the goes directly into the park. 
goes directly into the park area. And, uh, yeah, this is a still water trail or still water recreation trail, whatever you want to call it, I guess. So it's a pretty nice park. It's, it doesn't have much in the way of hills for a challenge. I mentioned the Dayton hikers just a minute ago. They host hikes here. You, you, you might see one or two hikes here hosted, but this is not a park that they typically host very much, and I think it's because people prefer a, a bigger challenge for hiking, and although this park is very nice, it just doesn't have much in the way for of a challenge and hike. We have some very unique trees here that are very rare to the state that you don't see. You have pumpkin ash here, which we have a pumpkin ash forest, which I'm going to get a separate video of that. You also have some of the oldest ash trees anywhere in the Miami Valley here. Of course, as most of you know, the emerald ash borer has the ash trees under serious peril and and serious danger right here unfortunately right here is the Stillwater River I'm gonna get some shots of this closer on the trail the green trail at the park runs along the edge of this park there's also a pond here or a little lake that runs through the that runs through this park as well it's a beautiful river you know I mentioned the ash trees the common ash trees here in the state are the white and the green ash are the two most common but these but the pumpkin ash they have here is definitely very unique and they have true that they do have some ash trees that they have treated. I am not sure if they're still alive. Some of the most grandest ash trees anywhere around that they treated. They, they've been able to save them so far the last time I knew anything, but I am not sure if that is still if that is still the case. But Definitely in this area, in a few weeks time, once the deer rut gets in full gear, it's a, still a little too warm for them to be really rutting yet. I mean, it doesn't really get underway till the second or third, I mean, it doesn't really get at peak till the second or third week of November. And the reason why is deer are more of a cold weather animal they need colder weather to really thrive and do well you have some people down here it's because there's a disc a disc golf course a discus golf course here this is definitely a very pretty park it's one i enjoy coming to but it's not one that i frequent very much when I get over this off of this paved trail I'm gonna get ready to cut this video here in a few minutes but it's a pretty park we got a couple Waterdale we got a couple waterfalls here I mentioned the ash trees they also got a deer management fence along the upper part of the green trail what I mean by that is they have an area that is enclosed off the trail for a fence area where the deer cannot access it it's on a pretty steep hillside trail the trail is not very big but the fence is not very big but they want to the conservationists want to keep track of of the of what impact the deer are having on the uh 
on the vegetation at the park because they want to keep the deer at a healthy deer density. There's an airplane flying above the Dayton Airport is only about two miles from here. So you, you have a little bit of noise from that, but overall nothing too severe. At least I don't think. You don't really hear the road or when you get back in the park and you have um And you have a, you don't have any train tracks either that go through this park like you do at Taylorsville or Twin Creek. So, getting ready to turn around this corner here. Then I'm gonna, then I'm gonna end this one in probably about three or four minutes time. Just beautiful park here. I would frequent this park more if it had more in the way of hills to hike, but it just does not have it just does not have the hills that I that I like to to really make this a regular hike and staple. I'd like to go to Twin Creek, Germantown, Taylorsville, Caesars Creek. Those are all probably my four favorite spots so like John Bryan sometimes here and there it's kind of similar in terrain to John Bryan there's some leaves falling from the tree from the trees right here it's a pretty nice day it's around 65 70 degrees today just an absolutely stunning weather And I'm going to enjoy this park. Uh, the main trail at the park, the green trail, it's not overall a very big trail. It only takes about an hour and 20 minutes at the very most to hike, even at a slow, even at a slow pace. It's not that, it's not that really, it's, it's, it's a shorter trail, but you have some nice sights along the trail that I've already mentioned. I'm going to mention some of the landmarks in the video. Here's a sycamore tree right here. Very pretty tree at white bark. Some of these trees have lost their leaves, but you still got quite a few that are hanging on yet. But Got my jacket on. I'm going to take that off because it's getting a little too warm right now to continue wearing it but there's more of that sycamore of that sycamore tree right here some leaves falling right there another look at us 40 right there there's some bird feeders right here that are in the park for the birdies obviously so that's a cool thing this is also considered a burden hot spot burden obviously meaning a good bird watching area for those that are into you know bird watching all right, I'm turning away from the uh, main part of the road onto the path here, on the path. And I'm going to get ready to end this one at the end of this path. But you got some really pretty trees, beautiful architecture right here. It's fall, it's October 25th, or, yeah, 25th. It's definitely nature's canvas. Simply beautiful park to hike in. As I said before, I just wish it had more in the way of challenges, but I could make do with that for today.
Yeah, you can still hear the road from here a little bit, but the sound from the road disappears very soon. And uh, right here at the end of this, you'll be on the main uh, park road. You'll be at the main park road right here. Definitely wanted to show you guys the walk here. It's very scenic, very pretty. Sugar maple tree right here. Over in this park, I don't think the sugar maples quite dominate the way they do in other parks. Actually, that's, yeah, there's a sugar maple. But it still is the dominant tree in all parks, but I don't think it overwhelmingly outweighs it like it does in other parks. Hey, how you doing here? It's not going to be long before I find a trail here. A dirt trail that goes through the park. And I'm going to get ready to end this one right here. The paddy shelter, that's... I'll show you guys that in a little bit. But, uh... Typically when they host a hike here, that's where it is held at. And I'm kind of wondering about this lake, if it's dried up in the past, it's been dried up, but that's it for this one. You Well, I'm gonna keep going until I hit the trail, but one of the shelter areas right here. I hate to say this, but the pond from here looks like it might be dried up. It dried up about two years ago, unfortunately, and we haven't really had a lot of rainfall over the last month or two, unfortunately. So, you guys might be in for a treat. Get to see the pond that is unfortunately dried up. I hate to really call it that. I'm in the main part of the park now, in the east part of the park. And here, get ready to enter a trail in an area. And if, and from what I'm seeing from here, the pond is unfortunately dried up once again unfortunately yeah this is an absolute stunning day for uh, hiking and just overall just being in the great outdoors yeah this is really sad to say but uh, the pond is unfortunately dried up again, but I cannot say that I am terribly surprised due to the fact we just have not had any rainfall hardly over the last month, but I'll get some views closer up of that here in a little bit, but... I'm coming upon a trail here, so I'm going to get ready to end this one, and as I begin the trek on the trail here, so. But anyway, that's it for this one, YouTube. I'm going to start a new one.